Good morning or afternoon or whatever time it is in your world. Um, it's uh, Greg Casmano back again. I, I am I I apologize for the uh, delay in making videos, but I have been very busy with work. So um, and just to, just keep in mind that every day I miss, I will make up. But. Um, and you know my, my aim here is to show you guys as much of GNU stuff as I possibly can over the over the next month. Um, so I really have to remind you that you know GNU step is not a uh, museum project. It is a active project that follows the APIs provided by Apple uh, on Mac OS, uh, referred to as Coco. Uh, meaning foundation, app kit, and various other things. Um, now, okay, today I'm going to I'm going to cover, you know, how to build GNU Step from source. Okay, there is a uh, rather cool little um, repository known as uh, known as Tool Scripts, and you can get it at Git Clone. Uh, like you can either use HTTPS or you can use Get at github.com colon GNU step tools scripts dot git. Okay. And that will clone that lot that repository into whatever directory you want to get GNU step into. Okay. Um, I usually create a directory called GNU step because it helps sort of segregate everything into one directory but you know hey whatever your preference your mileage may vary um, so if I go into my GNU step directory here then you know I've already downloaded everything so I've got everything here so what I can do is I can do, then do I can then do um, tools scripts update GNU step okay and update GNU step is a script that basically does everything. Um, it you know for the build, it will update Git. It will update uh, what is it? Uh, all the it will pull down all the necessary repositories um, that need to be pulled down. But there are other scripts that do this step by step, and I'll show you those. Okay, there's one called uh, um, install dependencies. And we have this for many different platforms. We have it for Darwin, FreeBSD, Linux, 32-bit um, MinGW, 64-bit MinGW, uh, MSYS, which is deprecated. Uh, what is it? And MSYS NT, which is deprecated. We we use MinGW 64 on you know instead of MSYS. Uh, uh, NetBSD and OpenBSD now. There are other toolkits that are available. One is available for MSVC, and I'm going to show you guys that in a future video. But right now, um, I'm just going to do install dependencies Linux. And what this will do is it will make sure it you know requires you to enter your password if you have CU permissions. And what this does is this gets this this uses apt to get all of the existing um, you know dependencies and you know. I have pretty much all of them, and so it's going to basically say, you know, you have already the newest one here. But this script gets everything that is needed for building GNU Step. Um, so, and this just basically up, it updated one of my scripts, which is good. Sorry, one of my one of my uh, you know um, packages, which is good. So. So we're done. Okay, so now we can do build, sorry, sorry, tools, scripts, and we can either do one of the build scripts, which is of course, of course, you know, uh, builds all of the stuff for each individual system, um, which you can do, which is actually, you know, pretty convenient. Um, or you can do just uh, update GNU step, which does a whole bunch of stuff for you. And I usually, I, I mean, I have Clang 9 on my machine, so I, pr I basically prefer Clang 9 because the version of Clang 
that is distributed with Debian 11. I use Clang, I think, 14, and Clang 14 has a bug. Sorry, no, is it Clang 14? Hold on one second. Let me... Yeah, no, it's Clang 11, and Clang 11 has an issue uh, and with Objective-C. It, it basically has a um, somewhere where it, in our code where it goes into some sort of recursive loop and crashes. So um, I use Clang 9 because it's available here. You know, uh, on other platforms, Clang 14 should work because um, I've used it in production environments um, so once that's available on on uh, you know once that's available here I should be able to just use it without having to do this okay and but now right now I have to specify the compiler for C and C++ so that you know I use the right one so here we go so as you can see it's updating all of GNU step um, and you know as you can imagine I keep my stuff pretty much you know updated so what it's going to do is it's going to just it gets uh, it does a git uh, pull and it does it in such a way that whatever branch you're on it will merge it with the master branch um, so it does it for all the existing repositories and then it does a build um, here as you can Sometimes you will have to enter your sudo password, but since I did it just earlier, <laughs> I didn't have to, because um, as you know, sudo has a timeout. So right now it's building all of GNU step, and this basically does everything that you should have to do for any platform. Now, I used to have what I call a web a web-based script that would basically do everything for you automatically, but that uh, link doesn't exist on the website. I will put that back up but I just wanted to go through how absolutely easy it is to build from source. Now, um, what we're gonna do as a project very soon is we're gonna start building packages and hosting a package repository for GNU Step so that anybody who wants to link to our repository can do so. That's a prelude to us creating a um, reference distribution which will be based on Debian so anyway uh, that's my video for today I know it was rather short and unexciting but it's essential because people need to know how to build GNU Step now I, I hear this all the time and I've got to say it again GNU Step is not a uh, museum project we are not building next step or open step we have surpassed both of those we are building a coco compatible development environment you know that can read zip files that can read that can that has a lot of the most up-to-date classes you know Apple has been stabilizing Mac OS for the last three years they haven't added a lot of classes and that's given us a lot of time to basically get our stuff up to date and we have damn near all of the classes that um, you know that were in Catalina and you know I mean I think we're only missing one or two I and mean, I think we may have some of them but they don't fully function yet so um, you know so give us a shot give us a try you know um, it's www.gnustep.org uh, and you know uh, we have a uh, a lot of work to do so please help us if you can thank you thank you so much for your kind attention and I will see you in a day I may do another video today I don't know but we'll see all right thank you very much